standards of eternity. Deliver me from blood guiltlessness, O God, the God of my salvation. And my tongue will sing aloud of thy deliverance. O Lord, open thy lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. For thou hast no delight in sacrifice. Were I to give a burnt offering, thou wouldst not be pleased. The sacrifice acceptable to God is a broken spirit. A broken and contrite heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. Do good to Zion in thy good pleasure. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then will thou delight in thy right sacrifice. And burnt offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then bulls will be offered upon thine altar. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and through ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and through ages of ages. Amen. Dweller of the desert, an angel in the body, you were shown to be a wonder worker. Our God bearing Father John, you received heavenly gifts through fasting, vigil, and prayer, healing the sick and the souls of those who drowned you by faith. Glory to him who have given you strength. Glory to him who have granted you a crown. Glory to him who will grant you a <coughs> to all. Now and ever and through ages of ages, amen. O Theotokos, thou art the true vine, thou hast put forth the fruit of life. We pray thee, O Lady, intercede together with the apostles and all the saints, that mercy may be granted to our souls. Holy God, holy mighty, holy or mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy or mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy or mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and through ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and through ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Lord, the kingdom of power, the glory of the Father, and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and through ages of ages. Amen. My Savior and Redeemer, as God rose from the tomb and delivered the earth born from their chains, he has shattered the gates of hell, and as Master, he has risen on the third day. Lord, have mercy, 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 Lord, have mercy. Thou who at every hour and every every season and every hour in heaven and earth are worshipped and glorified, O Christ our God, who art long suffering, merciful and compassionate, who love the just and show mercy upon sinners, who call all to the salvation to the promise of good things to come. O Lord, in this hour, receive our supplications and direct our lives according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds, deliver us from all tribulation, evil, and distress. Compass us with your angels so that, guided and guarded by them, we may attain the unity of the faith and to know the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For thou art blessed unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and through ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. <coughs> Without the promise you gave birth to God, the word of truth, Theotokos, we magnify you. In the name of the Lord, give the blessing, Father. The Holy Father, Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy upon us, and save us. Amen. O God, the Master, Father Almighty, O Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son, and now, O Holy Spirit, one Godhead, one power, have mercy upon me, a sinner, and according to thy divine judgment, save me, thine unworthy servant, for blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God. Come, let us worship Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Save me, O God, by thy name, and vindicate me by thy might. Hear my prayer, O God, who hear to my words and mouth. For insolent men have risen against me, ruthless men seek in my life, seek my life.
life. They do not set God before them. Behold, God is my helper. The Lord is my upholder of my life. He will requite my enemies with evil, and the faithfulness put an end to them. With a free will offering I will sacrifice to thee. I will give thanks to thy name, O Lord, for it is good. For thou hast delivered me from every trouble, and my eye has looked in triumph to my enemies. Give ear to my prayer, O God, and hide not thy face from my supplication. Attend to me and answer me. I am overcome from my trouble. I am distraught by the noise of the enemies because of the oppression of the wicked. For they bring trouble upon them, and in angry they cherish enmity against me. My heart is in anguish within them. The terrors of death have fallen upon me. Fear and trembling come over me, and horror overwhelms me. And I say, Oh, that I had wings like a dove, I would fly away and be at rest. Yea, I would wander afar. I would lodge in the wilderness. I would hasten to find me a shelter in the raging wind and the tempest. Destroy their plans, O Lord, confuse their tongues. For I see violence and strife in the city. Day and night they go around and it's on its walls. The mischief and trouble are within the ruined midst of oppression. And fraud do not depart from its marketplace. It is not an enemy who taunts me, then I could bear it. It is not an adversary who deals in them with me, then I could hide from him. But it is you, my equal, my companion, my familiar friend.
son whom thou hast born. For if the entreaty of a mother has great power to win favor of the master, despise not, O all venerable lady, the prayers of sinners for whom took upon himself to suffer for our sake is merciful and strong to save us. Let thy tender mercies, O Lord, speedily go before us, for we are becoming exceedingly poor. Help us, O God, of our salvation, for the glory of thy name, O Lord. Deliver us and purge us away from our sins for thy name's sake. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever through ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins, master, pardon our transgressions. Holy one, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. On this side, give you Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and through ages of ages. Amen. O God, cleanse me a sin and have mercy upon me. O God, cleanse me a sin and have mercy upon me. O God, cleanse me a sin and have mercy upon me. O Heavenly King, comfort of spirit, truth, Lord, Lord, and fills all things, who charge the good things, the giver of life, can dwell in us, cleanse from our purity, and save our souls, the good one. Glory, God, in highest, and earth, peace, good will towards men. Glory, God, in highest, and earth, peace, good will towards men. O Lord, open down my lips, and my mouth to declare your praise. I just have to remember Bless, Master. Bless the God, now we're to ages, ages, men. Amen. Pray for me, Master. Lord, God, direct your steps. Remember me, Holy Master. Lord, God, remember this heavenly kingdom, always, now and ever, and into ages of ages. Amen. Bless, Master. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our metropolitan teacon, for our Archbishop Alexander, for the honorable priest, for the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this country, for its president, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city, for every city and countryside, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, by air, and in space, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord that we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For unto thee our joy, glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help 
help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos, never Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. Thine is the might, and thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, never Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To Thou art a good God, and lovest mankind, and to thee do we send up glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
God, or him of us, who rests in the saints, or him by the seraphim, from far as holy cry, glorified by the cherub, and worshiped by every heavenly power, and by all things that can be in the world. And the Lord is like the journey of the Lord, and gives us the first mercy, and the best life, and the sons of glory, and the sons of salvation. And the best life, 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 and can somebody get up some bulletins? Oh, you have one? I got one. I got one. Holy art thou our God, and to thee we send up glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages.
come to the name of the Lord. to your spirit wisdom the prokimenon in the fourth tone O Lord how manifold are thy works and wisdom hast thou made them all bless the Lord O my soul O Lord, my God, thou art very great. O Lord, how manifold are thy works in wisdom, as thou made them all. O Lord, how manifold are thy works. The reading is from the epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Hebrews. Let us attend. Brethren, when God made a promise to Abraham, because he could not swear by no one greater, he swore by himself, saying, Surely blessing I will, surely blessing I will bless thee, and multiplying I will multiply thee. And so after he had patiently endured and obtained the promise for men, swear by one greater than themselves. And an oath for the confirmation is the end of all their dispute. Thus God, willing to show more abundantly unto their heirs of the promise, the immutability of his counsel, confirmed it by an oath, that by two immutable things, in which it was impossible for God to lie, he may have the strongest consolation. We have fled from, for refuge, hold fast to hope set before us, which we have as an anchor for the soul, sure and firm, and which entereth in, even with the veil, where the forerunner Jesus has entered for us, made a high priest forever according to the order of Melchizedek. Peace be unto your reader. And to your spirits. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Lord, 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 Go forth and prosper and reign for the sake of meekness, righteousness, and truth. For thou lovest righteousness and dost hate iniquity. Master, him who proclaims the glad tidings of the holy apostle and evangelist Mark. May God, through the prayers of our glorious and laudable apostle and evangelist Mark, enable you to proclaim the good news, great power, fulfill the gospel, feed love, son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Wisdom, stand upright. Let us hear the holy gospel. Peace be unto you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Let us attend. At that time, a man came to Jesus, Good kneeling God. down and saying unto him, Teacher, I brought my son to you, for he has a dumb spirit, and wherever it seizes him, it dashes him down, and he foams and grinds his teeth and becomes rigid. And I asked your disciples to cast it out, and they were not able. And Jesus answered him, 
O faithless generation, how long am I to be with you? How long am I to bear with you? Bring him to me. And they brought the boy to him. And when the spirit saw Jesus, immediately it convulsed to the boy. And he fell on the ground and rolled about, foaming at his mouth. And Jesus asked his father, how long has he had this? And he said, from childhood. And it has often cast him into the fire and into the water to destroy him. But if you can do anything, have pity on us and help us. And Jesus said to him, if you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. Immediately the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe, help my unbelief. And when Jesus saw that a crowd came running together, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying to him, uh, you dumb and deaf spirit, I command you, come out of him and never enter him again. And after crying out and convulsing him terribly, it came out, and the boy was like a corpse, so that most of them said, he is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up, and he arose. And when Jesus had entered the house, his disciples asked him privately, why could we not cast it out? And Jesus said to them, this, is, this kind cannot be driven out by anything but prayer and fasting. They went out from there and passed through Galilee, and Jesus would not have anyone know it, for he was teaching his disciples, saying to them, The Son of Man will be delivered into the hands of men, and they will kill him. And after he is killed, he will rise on the third day. Peace be unto you, proclaim the good news. Let's have all the children come on up front first and foremost. Let's have all the children come on up forward. Come on forward. Where's my, where's, there's my little ones. There we go. Oh, perfect. Come on forward. Good morning, everyone. Hi. Hi. Hello. Oh, I like your kitty. That's very nice. All right. Very good. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Oh, there we go. We got lots of little ones here. Okay. So who can remind me what time of the year we're in right now? What's the, what do we call that? What is, what do we call Lent, right. Okay, what are we supposed to be doing during Lent? Fasting, okay. What does fasting even mean? I don't even know what it means. No meat, okay, all right. If, yeah, and that's the thing too, is like sometimes we have to kind of like think the right thing. Now, why do we just give up something is it really all about just having a good diet plan? No. Right? No. What, what are we doing it for? What do you think? Focusing on God more, right? Because sometimes we get so busy thinking about what we want to put in our bodies or what we want to do with our bodies that we forget to kind of focus on our, our time with, with Jesus, right? Who can tell me last week we celebrated, what were we celebrating on the, what was that? Do you remember? What was that? Sunday of the cross. And who can tell me what this Sunday is? The Sunday of what? Sunday of, um, <laughs> <laughs> Did anybody talk about it in Sunday school? We talk about this. We, as a, it, we call it, the, no, it's not Palm Sunday yet, but we're on our way to Palm Sunday. And what we do is we have, the, we have this icon in the center of our church about a ladder. And we, and now the latter was, a, was really about a book that a saint wrote. His name was St. John. And I'm going to teach you a, fancy, a really easy way to remember who this saint is. Because his name is St. John Climacus. Now that sounds really hard to remember. So I want you to remember it this way. Ready? St. John Climb. Because he wrote about the ladder and you climb a ladder. So you can remember St. John Climacus. Or Climacus is the better way. But we're going to always remember St. John Climacus. And he wrote the latter. Now, this is kind of about a, about a book that he wrote. And, he, and we made this icon to kind of give us some teaching. Now, what do we see on this icon? What, what, tell me about some of the things we notice on that thing. We see, oh, and soon the first thing we notice is the demons, right? right? Okay, what else do we notice? <laughs> what else do you see? The stairs, right, the ladder. And who's up here waiting for us? Great, Jesus, right? All right, now what, do you, what else do you notice? Right, right, exactly. The, 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 in fact, this is an icon of the church. And so here we have this icon, and we remember that, um, all the, well, that here we are, we're all these people here on earth, and we have our church, but we're really 
we're on our journey. We're kind of working on our way up to, to Jesus in the kingdom of heaven. And so we want to think about the, the way on the path to the kingdom of heaven kind of like a ladder. And we take these steps up to, to the kingdom. Now, uh, how many of you have read the, the St. John Climacus' book, The Ladder on Divine Ascent? How many of you have read it? Show of hands. <laughs> Nobody's read it? Okay. No, yeah. No. Nobody's read it. Oh, you read it? You, if you've read it, you get to come teach because I, I don't even know. Um, okay, hold on one second. So, all right. So, we, you, maybe you haven't read that book, but how many of you have seen Frozen 2? Anybody seen Frozen 2? Okay, that's easier to read. Okay, all right. Frozen, yeah. Frozen. Now, I remember in Frozen 2, the Princess Anna had one of my favorite songs, and he, she wrote, a, 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 she was really sad, and she had just lost, uh, like she was, oh. I don't want to spoil the movie, so I won't say it yet, <laughs> but she was struggling, and she was, and she sang a song, and does anybody know the song that she was singing? She was really sad, and she said that she was really, and she felt like she was in a dark cave, and she started to sing that instead, well, she wasn't, a, she was really in a dark cave, and so she said, no, what I have to remember is I have to do the next right thing and she started to sing that song and it cheered her up because it, she started to remember that sometimes when things feel really dark and sometimes maybe we've been like trying to do our best with maybe fasting and maybe it hasn't gone so easy or maybe we're just getting stuck maybe not doing the right things in our daily life maybe we're, we know we're not supposed to make fun of our siblings or hit our siblings and sometimes we maybe do hit our siblings and maybe talk back to our mommies and daddies, we might be start to feel like maybe we're just stuck in this dark place and we're never going to do the right things and we start to get really sad and maybe uh, maybe really kind of even ashamed. What do you think? What's that? Um, if you want to make jokes to somebody, uh, you, you can do whatever joke you want. Oh, that would not be a good idea because we have to do, if we're going to make jokes, we have to do kind jokes, kind jokes. Okay. Right. So here's what I want us to think about as we're taking the next right thing and doing the next right thing every day in our life, I want us to think about taking little steps up towards the kingdom of heaven. And we always want to focus on our life with Christ. And I want us to notice something else. It's hard to see in this image, but I love the image on our back because we have the exact same image on the back of our wall. And I want us to notice that all the people, all the, all the, the, the monks and the priests and the people that are walking up to Jesus in the corner, they all have their eyes focused on Jesus. And it's the ones that have already kind of been falling down and kind of get, they get tempted and they, they get away and they fall away from what they're supposed to do every day. That they, 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 they don't have their eyes on Jesus. And so sometimes we might fall and sometimes we might stumble on our ladder. And that's okay. As long as we, oh, well, we'll hear that joke at the end. You tell me in, when we see each other in coffee hour because I want to hear that good joke. And I'll tell you a funny joke myself because I have lots of funny jokes. And my kids will roll their eyes at me because they're dad jokes, but I think they're funny. Okay, so one more thing before we wrap up, because I want us to, I want to give you these little icons as well, because I want us to go home, and I want us to think, what next right thing can I do every day so I can keep walking on the thing, and I can keep focusing? Now, really quick before we wrap up, give me one good thing that we can do for, uh, to kind of do the next right thing. What's one good thing? Focus on God. That's good. What, how we, what's a good way to focus on God? What? Praying is a great way. We can say our, our prayers. What else? Oh, I love that one. Don't hit your brother or siblings. And in general, what's another good thing we can do? What's one good thing we could do? Read the Bible. Good. That's a really good. Playing is actually really good, too. As long as we're doing that, we're, we're doing it kindly with those around us, too. I love playing. Playing, playing and sharing is all good. So those are the things and steps we can take. Oh, very, yeah, that's for, oh, gosh, yeah, that's a good one. And helping people is really good. And those are all steps we can take where we're focusing on Jesus, living our lives the best we can, doing the next right thing so we can kind of go further and closer to God in the, on the way to the kingdom. So I'm going to give these to you, and... Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, that's annoying ones are tough. We right, we ignore. We don't say mean things in the way back because sometimes it's very tempting to say something mean when someone else is doing something mean. Now I'm going to make sure all our sibling sets get one, and if I have extras, I'll, and they'll, um, I'll give Nolan. You got one for your sister and Ariadne. And then once you guys get these, you guys can go back to your seats, and we can try to remember to do the next right thing and live our lives for Jesus so that we can do, be living with Him forever in His kingdom. Okay. All right. Yes, sir. Um, and also, do not scare your boys. 
Don't scare your siblings also. Very good. You, you guys have all the good answers. Now, oh, we missed one over here. Okay, here you go. And you guys can, if you have these, you can go back. And if anybody, I have extra, so we can make sure we have got, all right, you guys can go back to your parents now, okay? All right. Everyone's got one? Did you get one? Here, you can have one as well if you want. We have an extra, okay? All right. Oopsie. Got you? You want? Okay. All right. Thank you. Sure. Good morning. Christ is our midst. And welcome to everybody who's with us online this morning. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, in the first few centuries of the church, the monks often, who lived in the desert often fell prey to thieves. One day, St. Macarius of Egypt was returning to his cell and found thieves robbing his cell. At first, St. Macarius just stood and watched. And after a while, he started to help the robbers load his things onto the back of their horse. The saint had no care for the things that were being stolen. Another saint, St. Euphrates, if I said his name right, was also robbed. He, like St. Macarius, went to help the thieves load their horses. And when St. Euphrates, Euphrates returned to his cell, he noticed that one of the thieves left behind one of his walking staffs. So what does he do? He grabs the staff, runs up, chases them down, said, hey, you forgot this, and returns it to him. Another saint who lived in the desert was robbed was St. Theodore. Three thieves started to rob him. St. Theodore was a really big guy. And so um, he wrestled them down. He overpowered them. Then he sat them down. He said, okay, we're going to divide the th gifts up equally. And he gave them, I mean, his goods equally, and he gave it to them. The common theme here is these saints, these holy ones of God, didn't care about their possessions. They weren't owned by their possessions. They understood that everything ultimately is God's. What they had was what God, was God's. They were merely stewards taking care of God's things. Read in Psalm 24, which by the way, we, we pray this uh, Psalm in the canon of uh, preparation for Holy Communion. The earth is the Lord's in the fullness thereof. Some translations, um, English translation, render it as, the earth is the Lord's and everything in it. <laughs> Give me an opportunity to sip my water. <laughs> everything is God's. Think about it. If you make it, it uh, you own it. It's yours. God made the air we breathe. God made the sun, put the sun in the sky. And the food that we buy at Publix is all God's, and we're entrusted with it. And it would even add something like our car that we drive. Think about it. Our manufacturers simply take the things that are God's, the elements of the earth, apply technology and labor and fashion it, a car out of it. So everything is God's. But sometimes we get confused thinking that we own things. Remember the righteous Job. He was super wealthy. And he... He was totally saintly before God, totally blameless. And through no fault of his, Job, Job lost everything, his family his, and all his worldly goods. And when everything happens, Job falls to the ground and he prays. And this is what he prays to God. Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked I will depart. The Lord gave and the Lord has taken away. Blessed is the name of the Lord. Why? because everything was God's. He's the origin of everything. By the way, I remember when I was a little boy, I got really mad. And um, I got mad at my mom. said, Mom, I'm running away. I'm going to run away. She said, fine. And she quoted Job. Naked you came into the world, naked you shall leave. <laughs> I was allowed to leave. I had to take my clothes off. <laughs> Needless to say, I... Went to my room, I guess. <laughs> Last weekend, Paul Alexander gave us a really a wonderful retreat, wonderful young priest. One of the things he mentioned was our tendency to hoard things, to hoard stuff. And this is because he said, because we long for happiness and we try to extract happiness from things. 
I was just going to see how many. I don't know how many young people. How many know the song Satisfaction? Rolling Stones, yeah. So definitely. Okay. Now it's a great song, right? And it's because, and you know, it has one of the greatest riffs of all time, they say. But according to commentators, it's the lyrics. The lyrics that touch an eternal truth that people identify with. And this is, you know, summarizing the lyrics. No matter how hard I try and try and try, I cannot get no satisfaction. Right? Why? I can't get it from this world. He's Mick Jagger, it's, it's almost autobiographical. I think it is autobiographical. When you read the lyrics or hear the lyrics, but it's about he's trying to get satisfaction from the world and the things of the world, and he just can't get it. Many years ago, uh, when the Powerball was one and a half billion dollars, I remember billionaire uh, Mark Cuban um, said this to the would-be winner, or advice to the would-be winner. If you're not happy with the mo with that before you have money, you will not be happy after, because money does not bring happiness. He's somebody who would know. Recall the rich man who came to Jesus and asked what he needed to find eternal life. The rich man said, the rich man reported to Jesus that he followed all the commandments, and he was essentially a really good person. And Jesus said, okay, that's good, that's great. But if you want to be perfect, remember in the Beatitudes, the Lord says, be perfect as your Father in heaven is perfect. So Jesus says, if you want to be perfect, sell everything and follow me. And the man walked away sad. Why? Because his possessions owned him. He derived or sought to derive, derive happiness from it. But instead, he walked away. Unlike St. Macarius, St. Euphorius, St. Theodore, and Job, his possessions owned him. He chose the possessions over the kingdom of heaven. For this reason, Jesus said it was hard for a rich man to enter the kingdom. And by the way, rich people do make it. Throughout the New Testament, Joseph of Arimathea, Nicodemus, Zacchaeus, Old Testament, Patriarch Abraham. Their why? Because their possessions are going to open them. Wealth is not a barrier. It's what we do with the things that we have. Saint the Apostle John, do not love the world or the things in the world because the world passes away. In other words, it has no eternal value. As um, Father Jacob just so wonderfully shared with the children, today is the Sunday of the Ladder of Divine Ascent. And it's a 1,400-year-old spiritual metaphor for our spiritual journeys. The bottom of the ladder, you know, there you see on the wall or in the center of the icon in the center of the church, is planted into the life of the church meaning our journey is grounded in the life of the church in worship, prayer, scripture, ascetical readings, the teachings of the church, the teaching of the fathers, and at the bottom of the ladder, the bishops and the priests and the monastics pointing up the ladder to the kingdom of heaven. And of course, at the top is our Lord receiving his saints. And what I want to point out with us today, and this is what I'm going to, the first three rungs of the ladder are all about not being owned by the world not being attached to the things in this world, that possessions don't own us. When St. John Climacos writes about it, he says, if you want to fly high, if you want to get up off the ground, you need to be detached from the things of this world. Being detached means the things of this world do not own me. Possessions, the things that I have, don't guide me. They don't tell me what to do. They don't influence me. I do not seek satisfaction from things. It's all about being, in the tradition, what's called detached. And that's how you detach. To, to, when you find detachment from things, you really find joy. When I'm detached, I understand that everything is God's, and I'm merely a steward of it, including the heartbeat in my chest. Adding to this, detached also includes not being influenced by what others think about me. I'm unaffected by other people's opinions. It only matters to me what God thinks. Likewise, with news or politics. I may be sad or grieve over events, but they don't own me. I don't get all upset about things. I do not worry. There's joy when you're detached from the things of this world. It sets you free. It sets us free. I am freer today than I was 30 years ago, 20 years ago, when I learned about this. I mean, I learned about it academically in seminary, but started practicing it. I'm free. 
Things don't weigh me down. I don't worry about when somebody says, you know, something rude about me. God bless you. It's okay. I can move on. It doesn't matter. Think in your mind, detachment equals sign freedom. Detachment is freedom from this world and its influence. And it brings peace into one's heart. Now, naturally, the most detached person who ever lived was our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Clearly in the scriptures, possessions did not own him. By his own choice, we see in the scriptures, they only owned a cloak and sandals. Not once do we hear Jesus worried about material goods or what other people thought about him. And, and this is the greatest detachment, he was detached from his own will. It was what God the Father's will was, right? We pray, thy will be done. And sometimes I question whether we really mean it. He says in the garden, because suddenly he's kneeling down, my father, if it is possible, let this cut pass, let this impending passion that's before me pass. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. That's the ultimate detachment. To give up one's own will to God. <laughs> and that's really he always wants the best for us. Give it up. Detached. So brothers and sisters, detachment is to be free. It's to be free. So fly, soar like an eagle. <laughs> you, know, you know, but if we're detached, we're stuck on the ground. Our feet are in the mud. If we want to soar, we have to be detached. What, detached from other people's praises of us, their insults of us. Now, I don't like when people praise me or, you know, because it kind of gets in your head, so you got to let go of it, right? Detached from world events. And, of course, the most basic thing, possessions. It is said, and I can't remember the origin of this, so forgive me, to be detached is to be attached to God. Luca restated, when it's attached from this world, he is attached to God. He's soaring high. He's climbing that ladder to the kingdom. In fact, the highest rung of the ladder is agape love. And agape love is to totally be detached from yourself and just love the other just because they exist. So, anyhow, to Christ be glory, honor, and worship. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. all say with all our soul and with all our mind let us say <coughs> O Lord Almighty the God of our fathers we pray thee hearken and have mercy. mercy have mercy on us O God according to thy great mercy we pray thee hearken and have mercy Again, we pray for our Metropolitan Seacon, for Archbishop Alexander, for priests, deacons, and all other clergy, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for this country, for its president, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable Holy Orthodox Patriarchs, and for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this Holy Church. For Matushka Olga, the Archpriest Sergius, the Archpriest Anthony, Larry, and Leland, and for all our fathers and brethren, the Orthodox departed this life before us, who here and in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God, Bob, Joan, Susan, Betty, Sue, Judy, and Alexandra, and for the brethren of this holy temple, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord, you bless St. Justin Martyr with the miracle of this land, and through the generosity of your people made it possible to build this temple to worship you in, for which we are grateful. Today we humbly pray for another blessing, that our hearts would be stirred with the same generosity that Israel had in the building of the tabernacle, so that we may expand this temple and this fellowship hall to the glory of your holy name, to the service of your people. Hear us and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again.
again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present to await that great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And thou art our merciful God, and lovest mankind unto thee, do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Catechumens, please draw near. Pray to Lord Catechumens. Those of faithful pray to the Catechumens Lord may have mercy on them, they may teach in the word of truth, they may reveal them the gospel of righteousness, may unite them the holy Catholic soldier, help them, save them, have mercy on them, keep them on God by your grace. Bow your heads unto Lord Catechumens. O Lord, our God, who dwells in the heavens and guards all thy works, look down upon your servants and catechumens, bow their necks before thee. Grant them a light yoke, and make them honorable members of thy holy church. Make them worthy of thy regeneration, <coughs> midst of sins, a robe of corruption, holy chrismation, for the knowledge of thee, our true God. That with us may glorify the honorable and majestic name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Blessing, Lord God, is Christ be upon you. The blessing of the Lord God is Christ be upon you. The blessing of the Lord God is Christ be upon you. The blessing of the Lord God is Christ be upon you. The blessing of the Lord God is Christ be upon you. The blessing of the Lord God is Christ be upon you. The blessing of the Lord God is Christ be upon you. The blessing of the Lord God is Christ be upon you. The blessing of the Lord God is Christ be upon you. The blessing of the Lord God is Christ be upon you. The blessing of the Lord God is Christ be upon you. The blessing of the Lord God is Christ be upon you. The blessing of the Lord God is Christ be upon you. Y'all can go back now. Let us, the faithful, again and again in peace, pray unto the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Wisdom. That God and always by thy might, we may send up glory to thee, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Blessing of the Lord God is Christ be upon you. This was the trouble. He thrives him to like to announce it all to her. Let us listen to him. He thrives him to like to announce it all to her.
Give me a breath of song. and bless the Lord. May the Lord God be your priest and the Lord of the Lord. His Beatitude, T. Khan, Archbishop of Washington, Metropolitan of All America and Canada, His Eminence, Alexander, Archbishop of Dallas in the South, May the Lord God remember in his heavenly kingdom, always, now, and ever, into the ages of ages. For those that love us and those that hate us, that are less than pray for and worthy, though we may be, for the sick and suffering servants of God, Bob, Joan, Susan, Betty Sue, Jody, and Alexandra, for, and all those whom call to mind, and for the sick, the, the departed servants, the Archpriest Anthony, Macho Olga, Leland, and Larry, and all those who call to mind, for Orthodox Christian missionaries here and abroad, for those who study and serve in the seminaries, for those who call themselves our enemies, for the downtrodden, for the homeless, for first responders, for the success of our capital campaign, for peace in the Ukraine, Gaza, and Israel, and for you, an Orthodox Christian, may the Lord God remember us in the kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of the ages. Lord, remember that priest of the the Lord, your diaconate is something that comes down unto ages and ages and ages. Complete our prayer unto the Lord. For the precious gifts now offered, let us pray to the Lord. O Lord our God, who has created us and brought us unto this life, who has shown us the way of salvation and bestowed upon us the revelation of heavenly mysteries, thou art the one who has appointed to us the service by the power of thy Holy Spirit. Therefore, our Lord, enable us to be ministers of your new covenant and servants of your holy mysteries. Through the greatness of thy mercy, accept us as we draw near to your holy altar, so that we may be worthy to offer to thee this reasonable and bloodless sacrifice for our sins, for the errors of the people. Having received it upon thy holy, heavenly, ideal altar of sweet truth or fragrance, send down upon us in return the grace of the Holy Spirit. Look down on us, O God, and behold this our service. Receive it as thou dost receive the gifts of Abel, the sacrifices of Noah, and the whole burnt offerings of Abraham, the priestly offices of Moses and Aaron, and the peace offerings of Samuel. Even as thou dost receive from thy holy apostles the true worship, so now, in thy goodness, accept these gifts from the hands of us sinners, O Lord, that having been accounted worthy to serve without silence, uh, without offense, at thy holy altar, we may receive the reward of wise and faithful servants on the awesome day of thy just retribution. Through the compass is only begotten some of whom are blessed. Again, the holy, good, life, king spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Let us love one another, that with one mind we may confess. I will love thee, O Lord, and rest thank the Lord from man to rest Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Trinity. the doors and wisdom let us attend. Christ in us.
us stand all right let us stand with fear let us attend that we may offer the holy oblation in peace the grace of the lord jesus christ the love of god upon the communion of the holy spirit shall be with all of you Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. It is sweet and right to worship the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence and undivided. Oh existing one, Master, Lord God, Father, almighty and adorable, that is truly meet and right and befitting and magnificent thy holiness to praise thee, to sing to thee, to bless thee, to worship thee, to give thanks to thee, to glorify thee, the only true and existing God, and to offer thee this, our reasonable worship, for the contrite heart of spirit and humility, for thou hast granted us the knowledge of thy truth. Who can utter a mighty acts, or make all thy praises known, or tell of thy miracles at all times? O Master of all, Lord of heaven and earth, all creation, both visible and invisible, who sits upon the throne of glory and beholds the death without beginning, <coughs> invisible, incomprehensible, indescribable, changeless. O Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, the great God and Savior, our hope is the image of thy goodness, the seal of thy very likeness, showing forth in himself with thee, O Father, the living word, the true God, the eternal wisdom, the life, the sanctification, the power of the true life, through whom the Holy Spirit was revealed, the spirit of truth, the gift of sonship, the pledge of future inheritance, the first fruits of eternal blessings, the life creating power, the fountain of sanctification, through whom every creature of reason, where understanding, worships thee, and always sings to thee a hymn of glory. For all things are thy servants, thou art praised by angels, archangels, thrones, dominions, principalities, authorities, powers, many are cherubim, round about the seraphim, one with six wings, the other with six wings. With two they cover the face, with two they cover the feet, and with two they fly, crying to one another with unceasing voices and resounding praises. Singing in a trump of him, shouting, proclaiming, and saying, With these blessed powers, O oh Master, who loves mankind, we also cry aloud and say, Holy art thou, and holy, and most, and there are no bound, truly most holy, and there are no bounds to magnificent thy holiness. Thou art gracious in all thy deeds, for with righteousness and true justice thou hast ordered all things for us. When thou didst create man by taking him from the dusty earth and didst honor him with thine own image, O God, thou didst set him in a paradise of delight, promising him eternal life and enjoyment of everlasting blessings and deserves thy commandments. But when man disobeyed thee, the true God who created him and was deceived by the God's servant, Becoming subject to death through his own transgressions, thou, O God, in thy righteous judgment, didst send him forth from paradise in the world, returning him to the earth from which he was taken, yet providing for him the salvation and generation of Christ himself. For thou didst not turn thyself away forever from thy creature whom thou hast made, O good one, nor didst thou forget the work of thy hands through thy tender compassions and thy mercy. Thou didst visit in various ways, thou didst send prophets, thou didst perform mighty works by saints who every generation well pleasing to thee. Let us speak to us by the mouth of our servants, the prophets, foretelling to us the salvation which was to come. Thou didst give us the laws of health. Thou didst appoint angels and guardians, and when the fullness of time had come, thou didst speak to us through thy Son himself, who being made, though whom thou didst make the ages, whom being reigns thy glory and the image of thy person, upholding all things by the word of his power, thought not robbery to be equal to God and Father. He was God before the age that he appeared on earth and lived amongst men and became incarnate of a holy virgin. He emptied himself, taking form of a servant, being likened to the body of loneliness, that he might liken us to the image of his glory. For as by man sin entered the world by sin death, so it pleased thy only begotten Son is in the bosom of thee, the God and Father who was born of a woman, the holy faith talk of Santa Virgin Mary, who was born under the law to get in sin and the flesh that those who were dead in Adam might be made alive Christ himself. He lived in this world and gave us commandments of salvation, reaching us unto lose our adultery. He brought us the knowledge of the true God and Father. He obtained for his, holy, his own chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. Having cleansed us in water and sanctified us with the Holy Spirit, he gave himself as a ransom to death in which we were held captive, sold under sin. Descending through the cross into hell that he might fill all, fill all things with himself, he lose the pangs of death, he rose on the third day, Having made for all flesh a path of resurrection from the dead, though not possible the author of life, the addiction of corruption. So he became the first fruits of those who fall asleep, the firstborn of the dead. They might himself be truly the first in all things, ascending into heaven, set down at the right hand of thy majesty on high, and he will come to render every man according to his works. 
So the morals of a saving passion left us these things to have set forth according to his command. For when he was about to go forth to his voluntary and ever remember life creating death, the night which he gave himself for the life of the world, he took bread in his holy pure hands, and having shown it to the God and Father, and had given thanks and blessed and hallowed it, he gave his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you, the remission of sins. Likewise, he took the cup of the fruit of the vine, and having given thanks, blessed and hallowed it, he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Drink of all of you, this is my blood of new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Do this in remembrance of me, for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim my death, you confess my resurrection. Therefore, we also amass remembering his saving passion, life creating cross, a three day burial, and resurrection of the dead, his ascension to having a sing right hand of the, the God and Father, his glorious and awesome second coming. Thine own of thine own, we offer unto thee on behalf of all and for all. We praise, we bless, we thank thee, O Lord, and we pray unto thee, O our God. O Lord, this time of the Holy Spirit, now the Apostle, third hour, take enough, then we're going to disappear into thee. O oh Lord, this is the Spirit down the Apostle of the Third Hour, taking off this again when we do so great to Therefore, most holy master, we also, thy sinful and worthy servants, and thou hast permitted to serve at thy holy altar, not because of our own righteousness, for we have done nothing good upon the earth, but because thy mercy and compassions which thou so richly poured out on us, we now dare to approach thy holy altar, and offering to thee the end of tithes of thy holy body and blood of thy Christ. We pray to thee, and we call upon thee, O holy of holies, that the favor of thy goodness and thy holy spirit may come, bound, to come upon us and, and upon the gifts now offered to bless, to, shall, to, to hollow, and to show this bread to be the precious body of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Now we to this cup to be the precious blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Shed for the life of the world. Amen, amen, amen. 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 Fair enough, I come quickly, Lord Jesus. And unite all of us to one another who become partakers of one bread and cup in the communion of the Holy Spirit. Grant that none of us who, who partake of the holy body and blood of Christ for judgment nor condemnation. Instead, may we find mercy and grace with all the saints who have been, through the ages, been well-pleasing unto you. Ancestors, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, teachers, and every righteous spirit made perfect in faith. Especially for our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious, I feel vocals. And ever Virgin Mary. But a holy prophet from the strong, holy Lord, all prophets, St. John, Holy Ghost, Spirit, for Mary, and all saints, and sisters, and God. Remember, for the salvation, remission of sins, the servants of God, Bob, Jones, Susan, Betty Sue, Jody, and Alexander. Remember those who follow through the hope of resurrection to eternal life, especially much Olga, Archpriest, Anthony, Leland, and Larry. Grant them rest and account and forgiveness of sins, O Lord our God, in the place where there is no sign of sorrow, but where light and consciousness is. Again, we choose to remember, O Lord, the Holy Catholic Psalter is from the end to end of the universe. Give peace to her who has the same with thy precious body and blood of thy Christ. You deserve the Holy House from the end of the earth. Remember, O Lord, those who are offering the truth and those who are offering the and just remember, Lord, those who are offering for the good those who remember the poor and the young of the rich, and the gifts of the birthday of the Lord, and 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 the Lord, those who are in the desert land, and the Lord, 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 and the Lord,
Thanks, good thanks for the house and I hope that you will be with them. I can only read all people on God and to remember all Lord. Every rich God and authority of those who serve in the art of God and Alpha. Please let me give you my good to me, even if you know the Lord of God. Please give me those all those who ask God for mercy upon them. Lord, and all to your mercy. Fill them with preparation and a good thing. There it is. Marriage is in peace and harmony. and friends. Raise the infants and guide the young. The poor can be encouraged to stay hard. Reunite those separated. Lead those back in their enjoyment of the Holy Catholic Holy Church. Place in the top Shall Charles build the child by land, by air, space, visible, the land, perfect the world for Remember, Lord, those who are in the they shall have blessed them, those who are in the time of the church. Remember, Lord, those who are in the time of the time, those who love to be in the time of the time, those who are in the time of the time, those who are in the time of the time, those who are in the time of the time, those who are in the time of the time. Remember, Lord, I shall have blessed them, those who are in the time of the time, those who are in the time of the time, those who are in the time of the time. So that would help me help you help me help you help me 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 help
and I is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all. Unto the Lord. To the Lord. Master, Lord, Father of compassions and God of every consolation, bless, sanctify, guard, strengthen, and empower those who have bowed their heads to thee. Make them to withdraw from every evil work, unite them to every good work, and make them worthy to partake without condemnation of these, thy most pure and life giving mysteries, for the mission of sins and for the communion of thy Holy Spirit. Through the grace and compassion and love to our mankind, the only begotten Son with whom they are blessed, together with our all holy, good, and life giving Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. O God, cleanse me, sinner, mercy upon me. O God, cleanse me, sinner, mercy upon me. O God, cleanse me, sinner, mercy upon me. Let us attend. The holy things are for the holy. Thank you. He can draw near.
name of the Father. Draw near. Wash my Lord, since I was coming out precious blood to you. God Molly received the plate precious lamb blood of our Lord God's from Mr. Her sins, the life of the lost.
Michael, which is the precious son of man, which endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give to you, for on him, and the Father, God set his seal. Then they said to him, What must we do to be doing the works of God? Jesus answered them, This is the work of God, that you believe in him who he has sent. So they said to him, Then what sign do you do that we may see and believe you? What work do you perform? Our Father, God, they demanded the wilderness, as it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to Shall I go for Jesus said to them, the bread of life, he who comes to me shall not hunger, and he who believes in me shall never thirst. But I said to you that you have seen me and yet do not believe. All that the Father gives me will come to me, and him who comes to me I will not cast out. For I have come down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. O oh God, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. This is going to be the hot word. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith, worshiping the undivided Trinity, who has saved us. Be thou exalted above the heavens and glory. Over all the earth. Blessed is our God. Always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Upright, having partaken of the divine, holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly, life giving, and dread mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. 
help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Asking that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. For thou art sanctification, to thee be sent our glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Let us depart in peace. Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. O Lord our God, though we are unworthy, you have deemed us worthy to stand in this holy place. Though we have nothing good to offer you, we sacrifice a humbled heart and a contrite spirit to you, who have no need of anything of ours. Because you are good, we seek from you forgiveness of our sins, though we have failed to ascend the ladder of virtues. As you did not turn away from the publican who humbled himself before you, but proclaimed him justified, so too hear our unworthy prayers. Banish from our hearts the crass self-praise and boasting of a self-righteous Pharisee. Grant us instead the compunction of the publican and the humility that draws us to you. For you exalt the humble and humble the exalted. Make us worthy of the joys of your kingdom, which you have prepared for the poor in spirit. Through the mercies of your Christ, with whom we are blessed, together with your all holy, good, life-giving spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. The blessing of the Lord be upon through his grace, love for mankind, always, now, and ever, and to ages of ages. Glory to God, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. May he who has risen the dead, Christ the true God, through the prayers most true mother of St. Justin Mara, Patriots Holy Community, of St. John Clemicus, who today commemorate in the church, of the Holy Righteous Ancestor of God, Joachim out of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, who is good and love us mankind. Good morning, Christ is our midst. He is he is in our midst. Let's say the uh, second prayer of thanksgiving. Glory to our God, glory to thee, our God, glory to thee, our God. O Master, Master Christ, Christ our God, God, King of the ages, maker of all things, I thank thee for all the good things thou hast given me, especially for the communion of thy most pure and life creating mysteries. I pray thee, O gracious lover of man, preserve me under thy protection, beneath the shadow of thy wings, and enable me even to my last breath. To partake worthily with a pure conscience of thy holy things, from the remission of sins into life eternal. For thou art the bread of life, the fountain of holiness, the giver of all good. To thee do we ascribe glory, with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Through the prayers, Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy upon us and save us. Good morning, please. Miss Bethany, where's this? So Bruce is out of town this weekend visiting his parents, so he asked me just to make uh, just a reminder about your capital campaign cards. 
We're asking that everyone complete them and turn them in by next uh, Sunday. So if you haven't done it, please make sure that you get that done either today or through the week so that you can uh, turn them in next Sunday. If you've lost your card, there are some extras in the back. Um, or I think even Father Ted said at some point, if you can shoot an email or a text or something like that. So we would appreciate you uh, just being mindful that, um, of meeting that deadline. So thank you very much. And then do you want to say anything else in regards to that? Or can I move uh, on with my announcements? Words, then I'll do my announcements? Okay, perfect. All right, so Pascha preparation. So thank you to everyone who, have, who has already signed up. We've had a lot of people volunteer, so I do appreciate it. We do have a few items that still uh, need leaders and just some participants. Um, young men, there are quite a few jobs for you all. Hi. <laughs> Go check the board. <laughs> um, ushering. Uh, parking lot attendant for Pasca night, um, we appreciate your help. So take a look at the board and do that. And then ladies of the church on Friday morning at 9 a.m., we meet to decorate the tomb um, of our Lord. And I encourage you all to come, ladies of all ages, even if you have children. I used to bring mine in carriers. It's a beautiful time for the kids and the ladies to get together and decorate the tomb. So any questions, I'll be over in coffee hour. And thank you again for everything. Thank you. Um, I just, I just have very few announcements. First, um, on the bulletin board, you'll see um, when you the uh, civil engineering of our site, kind of, the kind of close to it. So if you want to see what the site's going to look like, um, God willing, um, you can see it on the bulletin board today. I also want to point out on annu our annual Lazarus Saturday Parish Family Day. Look at the bulletin, read it, but it's, for those who are newer to our community, it's a really big deal that we come here on Saturday, um, we, sell, we begin the Passion of Our Lord, we begin, it's kind of an end, Lent ends, and um, our Lord raised Lazarus, because he raises Lazarus, um, the Sanhedrin decide that they want to arrest Jesus. So we come here that day, we hear the God, we serve the liturgy, hear the gospel, have this wonderful lunch together, and then the church is prepared, we make palms, and the children do eggs, and all that stuff, but please read the bulletin, it's an exciting day. Um, as I mentioned, we, uh, I think I mentioned it last week, we expanded the parking lot, there's a sign up there, two signs that say, do not park between these two signs. Um, so please don't park, because then we can't access another part of the parking area, the basketball courts. And... Jumbo shrimp, and that's it. Look at your things to, to sign up for the jumbo shrimp. Please, miss. Good morning. How are we doing today? Good. So how many um, of the children that have told their parents about the Easter candy for Pasca candy for Pasca picnic? Can I get some hands? How many? Congratulations. Congratulations. Any more? Where's all my kids at? Um, no candy? Did you bring candy? Oh, you have eggs? They do? Okay, so what we have is we have a bunch of empty eggs, right? We need all the children to help today to take home a bag full of empty eggs and help me fill them. How does that sound? That sounds good, right? So the parents can help too, you know. Get a bag, we have bags. You take as many eggs as you want to take home and help me fill them up, okay? I, I'm so happy that I have got so many eggs between last Sunday and the Sunday before people came to me. Even for my first announcement, I got eggs already, <laughs> filled already. And the store do have some that's already filled. How many did go to the store last week and got all that discounted candy? Uh-huh, uh-huh, right? Right, a whole bunch of candy. And there's still some that are discounted they're trying to get rid of. If you go into Walgreens, if you go into Walmart, they still have them in the front trying to get rid of all that Easter candy. So run there. Y'all go get it for me, okay? Yes, huh? At Walgreens and at Walmart. They still have it right there when you first walk in to get all the candy, okay? So we want to have a good turnout this Pascha for the Easter egg hunt. Is it gonna be that this year? Yay! <laughs> Y'all have a wonderful morning. Hey, real quick, uh, starting this Tuesday, we're going to start a new men's fellowship breakfast. We're gonna do 
uh, 8.30 at Bob Evans, right over here on San Jose and Hartley. It's welcome to all, open to all men. We're going to decide, are we going to do topical stuff, uh, podcast, are we going to look at a book? Um, so if you're interested at all, please come this Tuesday at 8.30 at Bob Evans and uh, help us decide what we're going to do. Bacon and eggs, right? No bacon and eggs, not until <laughs> May 6th. Biscuits and gravy. I have uh, two youth announcements. Our first one is for today. We're having our uh, high school, middle school, high school movie night for uh, Passion of the Christ, and that's going to be uh, led by our Robbie, and that'll be at 5 p.m. in the Fellowship Hall. We'll have uh, dinner and food. Or, that's the same thing. So we'll have food. Uh, there'll be some questions, and uh, just to uh, help us reflect on what's going to be coming up in the next uh, few weeks with Holy Week and uh, the Passion of our Lord. And then the second youth announcement is that not this Wednesday, but next Wednesday, uh, the date is escaping me. It'll probably come to me as I'm talking. But uh, in two Wednesdays from today, uh, we're going to have our last uh, middle school and high school youth Lenten uh, dinner. And that will be after pre-sanctified. Uh, the youth uh, committee sponsors the meal, and it's just a great time for fellowship. And my last announcement, I said two, but I'm giving you a third one, uh, one for the price of two. Um, is going to be also, again, middle schoolers and high schoolers. Uh, we're closing out the uh, Lenten season with our, um, with our overnighter vigil. It's a wonderful opportunity for youth who have been active together for many years or newcomer uh, youth who have just uh, started coming to St. Justin's. It's a great time for fellowship. We'll be here uh, guarding the tomb and helping uh, the church in the final steps to prepare for Pascha with uh, final tomb decorations, preparing uh, the, the floors, the iconostas, everything, making it uh, sparkle. Uh, but also reading the book of Psalms and uh, being in a prayerful mind of what's to come. Uh, so if you have any questions, come and see me um, or Mr. Sean, and uh, we can help answer those questions. You can sign up on the fellowship or in the fellowship hall on the bulletin board. And if anyone would like to volunteer, I've had a few people come up to me asking questions about volunteering and chaperoning. Uh, like, come to me, and we can uh, chat about that. But wonderful time for all three of these events. Thank you. I can tell you, Father Jacob, myself, and and uh, Deacon Nicholas and Deacon James. Love it because our altar's so clean when we come. It's spick and span. Thank you. And I appreciate all the young people who do work on that night. Who's next? Good morning, everybody. Silver Stars, this Thursday, 1130, uh, bring your uh, lunch. We'll, we'll have <coughs> fellowship and lunch. And then back from popular demand, Deacon Nico is going to answer questions again. Um, about why we do certain things as Orthodox Christians. And um, I hope to see you all there. Anybody over 60, we have a good time, and it's very informative as well. See you there this Thursday. Thank you. Good morning. Just wanted to draw your attention to the announcement in the bulletin for the Mercy Meals for Gregory and Megan as they celebrate their baby that's coming in a couple of weeks. So um, everyone that can help us um, provide a meal or two while they're recovering and regrouping, that would be lovely. And see me if you have any questions about uh, needing help with deliveries. I can help with that. Well, last announcement, um, we'll be having choir practice about 12.30 or 12.40 or so. I'll start adding people up. Um, again, this is for Holy Week and Pascha music. Thank you. <clears throat> All right. So we have for many years today, Josephine celebrates a birthday, Mr. Chris Reeves, AJ. Where's AJ? 18, my friend. Wow. <laughs> You know, Andy, you don't have to support him anymore. <laughs> That's because Bethany was telling you. And then Nicholas celebrates his 19th birthday. So let's sing many years for those good people. Grant to Lord, process, peace of life, health, salvation, verse, all things to your servants, the handmaid of God, Josephine, the servants. Christopher, AJ, and Nicholas celebrate the anniversary of their birth. Preserve them for many years.
Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Christ God, I lift up to everyone who is sick and suffering. Um, and Lord, I, I pray for just this, just this world. Um, I pray for the people of the Ukraine. I pray for the people of, who, who are suffering in war. I pray for the people of Gaza. I pray for the people of Israel. And Lord, I just pray for, Lord, for your heavenly peace to come upon and just for us to repent and seek your way and find our joy in you and not in conquering others. And Lord, I ask you to bless the food and drink of each your servants and each your servants always, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. God be with everybody. Blessing of the Lord be upon you. The blessing of the Lord be upon you. Thank you. 